grace and peace multiplied to you in the name of the Son of the Most High God, the Savior to those that keep His commandments. Now, I saw something on Facebook this morning. It's the Sabbath day, right? I saw something on Facebook this morning from a, a so-called brother that had some understanding. However, he had a video posted about saying that Christ is not the Messiah. I said, wow, really? So if Christ is not the Messiah, who is? That means you don't follow Christ. So, you know, and, and we, we've seen it. We got messianics and non-messianics. So uh, apparently he's a non-messianic. So that, that being the case, who are you following? I said it all the time back in the day. People talking about follow this and follow that. Okay, who are you talking of? Who are you speaking about? Because in order to get into the kingdom, you got to obey what the son S O N said. What the son S O N had written in the book. So if you don't believe the Messiah came, then that means you are still doing animal sacrifices. So, if you're not doing animal sacrifices, you're lying. It's all that simple. So, you know, I'm like, if, if I post something according to the Bible on Facebook or anything, Instagram or whatever, and I'm in error, oh, people going to be quick, quick to reprove me or correct me you know what I'm saying that's why I stay humble because I mean nobody's perfect but I know what I'm supposed to do I know I'm supposed to keep the word of God and I know I'm not supposed to add nothing to the Bible or take nothing from it to say that Christ is not the Messiah that's blasphemy that's straight up blasphemy so that means this brother is a so-called Hebrew but he didn't allow Satan to influence him to say something contrary to the Bible. That's 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 wicked. That's pretty bad. You know, it's already tough enough in the world we live in, especially since we are under the curses of Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26. But this brother had this video posted on his on his on his Facebook page and then I look at his friends we got mutual friends and I'm like I'm wondering to myself are they condoning this saying Shabbat Shalom and all this and that I'm like really so you cool with this right hmm so I can't wait to get off of Facebook man cuz it's too much hypocrisy you know it's too much debating and bickering over nonsense instead of being on one accord and coming together and edify those that do not know what the scriptures say but this dude is straight coming up with something other than what the scriptures say and people following him that's a problem that's a problem that's a false prophet you know what I'm saying you say the Bible says many false prophets shall arise and deceive many so you gotta you gotta you gotta wonder what you gonna do. Are you gonna follow a false prophet, whether he go to church on Sunday or whether he keep the Sabbath day, which is today. Saturday, January 16th. Or are you gonna stick with the truth? We got many people that have knowledge of the truth and they teach it. But it's like I said before, we that have been awakened to the truth. We didn't kill all those old lies and old false doctrines. We didn't kill that. But now they're coming up with some new lies. But this hit right here that I just saw, it's, 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 not, a, it's not really a new lie. It's, I mean, it, it basically comes, it basically originates from Satan the devil. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, what, it, that's what it stems, that's the bottom line of it. You know, matter of fact, the Bible says, Oh, 
Okay. Hold up. <laughs> Psalm chapter 53. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. That's basically what this brother's saying. Because in the book of John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. So if you're saying that Christ is not the Messiah, then who's in the Godhead? You're saying ain't no, ain't no father either then, basically. <laughs> Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. Corrupt are they. Somebody corrupted this brother's mind. There is none that doeth good. Mm, mm, mm. Every one of them is gone back. Verse 3. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Saint changed to this day. <laughs> Spiritual wickedness in high places. I mean, the devil and his evil angels never have a day off. They try to fight, you know, that's why the devil don't want, that's why the devil, that's one of the reasons why the devil influenced the Catholic Church so much, because the Catholic Church didn't want people to be able to read the Bible for themselves. Because the devil knows the Bible from front, forwards and backwards. He don't want you to get this knowledge. So he can have you deceived and fooled and get you to work for him. Tell me, my brothers and sisters. I'm asking the question. Since I seen this brother's uh, video um, today, do you believe? I'm asking you the question. Do you believe Christ is the Messiah? Now, if you're a non messianic, then I know you're going to say no. And if you are a messianic, then I know you're going to say yes, but then. That's where Israel gets overly righteous, because they want to say, well, yeah. And they, then they're going to come up with a bunch of Hebrew names. It's not, it's, not, it's not all that's, you know, I mean, hey, I understand. But you got to understand, he has many names. But you got to also understand what the book says, that, it, what is it, Philippians 2? That every knee shall bow at the name of Jesus. So I don't care if you call him Ahia, I don't care if you call him Yahshua, uh, I don't care if you call him Joshua, that's on you. I do what the book say. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. <laughs> you know? But if you don't believe in him, if you say he's not the Messiah, that's that scribe, Pharisee, Sanhedrin, and, 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 and Sadducee mindset. Because when he appeared, when he appeared on the scene, and when John appeared on the scene, they asked a bunch of questions. But they was not. The Bible says, "Study to show thyself approved." So obviously, they wasn't studying right. Because if they were studying right, they would have knew who he was when he came on the scene. Now you got, and, 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 and the Pharisees and Sadducees, they was, uh, they was against each other on the resurrection. Study the book. You'll know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And here it is thousands of years later. We still got people coming up with this false doctrine. Even in the, even in the awakening of Israel. It's a shame. 